Hello, my dear subscriber. Today, again, after some polls in my posting, in posting videos, I'm here with you to continue talking about dating, dating Ukrainian woman, building a happy family, and building relationships leading to a happy family. Currently, I am in Burgas, Bulgaria. We decided to stay here while there is a war in Ukraine. So um, I arranged the first dates, if it's comfortable for both clients man and woman in this wonderful city if you want just let me know in, in your comments um, tell me and i will make some videos about this city tell you some interesting places that i found here and so on meanwhile we talk today about the first online zoom date because you know uh, after the war uh, and even during uh, the COVID time, we uh, decided to arrange uh, Zoom meetings first and only after that people meet in person. Now during the war it happens in somewhere in Europe, Turkey um, and these countries that are available for both for men and women. Uh, first date when you meet each other, uh, it can be through us, it can be uh, if you met her on some uh, dating site, or it can be if you met her on uh, Facebook, uh, other social networks. Overall, more and more people with every new year meet online. And of course, uh, from time to time, uh, you need to see each other, talk to each other while video chat. And uh, let's discuss what is important to do during the first uh, video date. First of all, I want to put your attention that uh, first impression is the last impression, as Americans say. And um, the impressions that you gave during the first date will follow you all, uh, all years down the road. If even anything different you do, uh, you will still be perceived like uh, in, in the same way as you uh, did during the first online date. And there are two interested, uh, interesting effects in the psychology of communication. First one is called like a primacy effect. It means that you perceive the other person based on the information you got, got about this person early on. Uh, so there were some research and experiments, probably you heard about them, when um, during, uh, among the students, when they were told about some uh, very smart, very intelligent professor that will come to them and uh, read a lecture to them and so on. But in fact, it was just another student, uh, but he was um, represented like this. And most of the students after the lecture, they um, uh, estimated him like more tall, more attractive, more handsome, more smart than she, she, he was. And so remember about this when you communicate with a person and um, I guess this uh, effect can also play some role when um, uh, you apply to matchmaker to me let's say and uh, the before arranging your first uh, online date uh, we represent you to, uh, to the right lady uh, so on the dating sites you search on, on, on your own you select women on your own, you talk to them and so on. In the matchmaking agency we do it instead of, instead of you and you need just to go come to the first date and following if you like each other of course. And another effect is the recency effect. It means that the uh, impression you make is built on the recent information that you, uh, you, that you just got. Again, if you are late for the first date, if you do something strange on the first date, this impression will stay forever. And there is a also, also confirmation bias. Uh, it says that um, we have some information about some person or some event, let's say. And then uh, during the communication with this person, we, we will constantly continue to look for confirmation of our first impression. And we will notice only what confirms this information. I tell you about this uh, to put your attention that it's very crucial, it's very important to make a positive impression during your first date, even if it's online date. Maybe in my new videos we will talk more about in-person date, first date in, in person, but now um, even uh, online becomes very, very important in our modern world. You probably see how many people, how many people use it to, to meet, uh, how many people use it for work aims and so on. First of all, before this online date, uh, just plan ahead how everything will, will go. First of all, you need to arrange the uh, atmosphere around you where you can communicate with a girl, 
uh, without being disturbed. Uh, there shouldn't be noise. Um, other people running around you. There should be stable internet connection. So the your uh, your date would be wonderful. It would be easy to communicate because again um, we. Um, experienced some dates when the, the connection was very bad um, either woman had it or man but it was just pos impossible to communicate and we had to postpone these dates at all so don't repeat this mistake and if possible arrange a good stable wi-fi connection or internet connection otherwise the date is just impossible uh, another great useful advice make the light in the right way so it means it should go to your face not on your back because in this case you will have a better image you will have um, mm, you will be visible so don't uh, don't forget about this rule of course uh, before the first date you should be dressed like uh, you go to usual date so it can be a smart casual style or just casual style um, don't use the way when you <laughs> don't wear uh, any t-shirt at all. Once I faced it with my client, he came to the consultation like this and um, you can understand it's it's not normal and uh, if you go to a date like this it will be disaster. Another important thing is to plan ahead what you are going to discuss, uh, what question you are going to discuss. If we talk about using matchmaking agency again, you pay a lot to uh, find a match to get married here in the future, probably. So my clients usually have this aim. Uh, that's why you shouldn't just waste your time during the first date and um, better ask questions that are important to know. Of course, you shouldn't be too serious and you shouldn't be ask her about philosophy or <laughs> very difficult things or politics, but um, it's important to understand her goals, uh, her vision of the future, her family values and compare them with your ones. Otherwise, um, you risk to go into relationships that are not right for you and you can find it out after five days, let's say, or five months of relationship. So, uh, very important questions ask in the beginning. Ask her about her goals and how she sees her uh, next year uh, or the, the nearest year. How she would like to develop relationships if, let's say, you match and you are in long distance for some time, how often she could meet you, where she could meet you and so on. Also, uh, my next advice is to ask questions. As I told in my previous point, it's important because uh, we faced many times and I see it often, especially with uh, highly successful men who are professionals in their field, they make a lot of money and usually these people tend to talk a lot about themselves and almost don't ask any questions or don't listen to a girl. And after such dates, uh, women um, get, uh, um, they, they ask us why, why it happens. Maybe he's not interested at all, but not. It's just I know this type of man and uh, I just give them a tip to ask questions, to put attention to another person next to them, not just tell about how cool they are. And also there is an um, interesting third point. Uh, men tend to be more to, uh, tend to be inclined to more report talk and women are inclined to report talk. What is the difference? Uh, for women, it's more important to feel the emotion, to feel the connection, to establish a bond while she communicates and to trying to build the relationships. While men uh, tend to be uh, more talking like a, a report, just telling about their lives, what they want, what they are going to do and so on. It's how different, it's natural, but uh, when you communicate with a woman, especially whom you like and who you can see as your future wife probably, Mm, pay attention to this uh, difference of genders and uh, pay attention to her feelings, pay attention to her emotions, be sensitive uh, to, to her and if you see that some topic uh, makes her sad or nervous and so on, uh, better not touch it, especially during the first date. And the last um, important advice, use humor while you date, because a date is not a job interview, so you can just have some good uh, jokes you during it if, you, if um, there is difficulty uh, because of the uh, language, difficulty to understand each other, you can tell more about this joke and so on. But um, at any rate, I advise you to feel uh, like uh, excited, uh, easy, is it going um, not very with, uh, with uh, less of tension, uh, humorous, merry during the first date? Because uh, on the one hand we look for a match, 
on the other hand, we need, we need uh, to meet a person with whom we uh, feel at ease. And uh, it's very important how you hold the first talk, because online you don't have, don't have a chance uh, to feel each other, to touch each other, to hug each other and so on. You can just talk. There are two talking heads. <laughs> so I impress her with how you hold this conversation. And of course, don't forget to give her compliments if you really like her, if you like something about her. They should be sincere, of course. And uh, we recommend to hold the first date online no more than, no longer than one hour or 40 minutes. It's quite enough for the first time because, you know, it's quite difficult to stay online longer time. And um, uh, in general, for all the other dates, it's recommended to not to be together more than two hours in, in person, dates in person. As for online dates, it's enough just one hour, believe me. Uh, we noticed when um, days were longer, people got tired um, and the conversation didn't, uh, went, didn't go well. So I hope these pieces of advice were useful for you and uh, subscribe my channel, put like to this video and uh, write your questions if you have them about this. And uh, many, maybe you have some questions about Bulgaria, Bulgars and arranging, arranging meetings here. Also, don't forget that uh, I give consultations about uh, meeting uh, Ukrainian women, building relationships with her. Sometimes men apply to me when they want to buy my piece of advice regarding communication with some girl they met online or in other agency. So feel free to apply also. And recently I opened my, um, our Telegram channel where you can join. Uh, you can use, uh, get some information, probably useful for you and um, just uh, look what we do, see new profiles of the ladies that we have in our base and so on. Join me, uh, let's talk later more and thank you for being with me. Have a nice day.